Hey y'all, I'm Nikki, this is Max, and you're watching Max's Mom's Creations. So I know, you all looked at the title of this thing and thought, well yeah, duh, cats and dogs are different. But have they always been? So first we're going to do a little ancestry DNA on your animals. Cats, they believe, originated from an animal called a kafir cat that lived in northern Africa. Now, kafir cats, wild cats, are what we call obligate carnivores, which means they eat meat. That's it, plain and simple. They don't even have the digestive enzymes to be able to break down anything other than meat and pull any of the nutrients out of it. Now, wolves, which we all know is where our domesticated dogs come from. Looks like a wolf, doesn't he? <laughs> They're what we call facultative carnivores. Now they're still carnivores, but they do have the ability to break down a little bit more of the fruits and vegetables and grains and things like that. Um, so they're not as carnivore as the cats, but still carnivores. They just have the ability to break it down just a little bit better than cats. It's believed that cats began being domesticated about 10,000 years ago. But for most of their history with us, we've just expected them to go and kill something and eat it. So they were kind of left on their own as far as the food department went. It wasn't until the 1950s that mass-produced cat food started becoming a more popular option. So really, we've only been messing with cats' natural food selection for about 70 years. But even in those 70 years, vets are now starting to say that they're seeing cat's intestinal tract starting to elongate a little bit, starting to get a little bit longer, so that they can process a little bit more of some of those grains and fruits and vegetables and things that we've been putting in their food. So in 70 years, we've already kind of started to change the cats. Dogs, or wolves, were domesticated probably around 15,000 years ago. Now back then, as wolves, they probably hunted for their own food and ate their, ate their own kill, or maybe the humans gave them some raw pieces of their kill. But after living together for years and years, eventually probably the humans started throwing some of their scraps to the wolves and the wolves would eat them. And so for probably almost 15,000 years, we've been influencing how the dog's digestive systems have been working. So during that 15,000 years, what dogs have been able to process and digest has changed quite a bit. So dogs now are considered to be omnivores. So we took wolves, which were carnivores, and just over the years of giving them the foods that we eat, we've turned them into omnivores who can digest starches, uh, vegetables, and, and fruits about 30 times better than what their wolf ancestors could. So we basically had two carnivores, cats and dogs, but because of our influence on each of them, they have turned out in very different ways today. So I think that's about it as far as the ancestry and the background of our animals. Um, I have a lot more to say about dog food, but this video is already getting pretty long. Max has already gone to bed. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this off now, and then I'll go ahead and finish the rest of it another time. So if you liked this video, if you enjoyed the content, we'd love it if you give us a thumbs up. If you could uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell, so that you'll be notified when I release those videos about dog food. And I would normally have a pet here to say this with, but go and make today an adventure and take your best friend with you too. Thanks y'all.